everybody welcome to my youtube channel the healthy me first podcast <laughs> that's what i'm officially titling it um i don't really know how to change the title in on my actual channel view but we'll figure that out soon i don't know why i came in here you ever go into a room and just forget why you came in there um so i did a little birthday week vlog last week and um, I actually ended up recording lots and cutting lots, so that's what you will see. It's a little less health and fitness focused, but still about self-care and little adventure and just a fun little different vlog I experimented with. So if you like this video and if you like my channel, please like and hit the subscribe button and there's also a little bell button that you can hit at the top so you may never miss a fitness, health, healthy me first and healthy you first adventure with me. Okay, so it's the day after my birthday, first full day, first full day of being 27. I had a delicious huge seafood creole dish at supper last night and then birthday cake which was a um, salted caramel delicious soft salty caramely cake oh my god I also had some cake for breakfast today cuz uh, I'm a damn adult and I can do what I want <laughs> I know it's not very healthy I don't do that every day though <laughs> um, and I think I just decided this is gonna kind of be a week in the life uh, video sort of special birthday week vlog perhaps um, and so since I had a birthday cake for breakfast today I'm gonna have a pretty light lunch but I want it to still be filling so I'm gonna make a delicious smoothie and I'm gonna try and record that um, I'll show you what I'm putting in it I'm gonna do some wild blueberries from the store some strawberry, bananas, and kiwis mixture from Superstore. I love this mixture with the kiwis and the bananas. It is so, like, it makes it so creamy, delicious. And then strawberries are just always a good flavor in smoothies, I think. And then I'm doing coconut unsweetened milk. Um, some chia seeds, which help make you full give you a nice full feeling lots of fiber in there and lots of calcium and lots of iron so that's good for us human beings and then this isn't my protein powder I'm sneaking a scoop from Mr. Ryan a banana nut so I think that'll be a good flavor mixture with the fruit that I just said and then, of course, I'm going to throw in <clears> the <throat> ice cubes. I have you guys ever so delicately hanging on the toaster right now, so hopefully the phone doesn't fall off <laughs> while I'm making my smoothies. So, oh, and I'm using a uh, Nutribullet type of thing. It really blends quite well. So I got the two ice cubes in there. And then I'm going to do My head's gonna cut off in this. Oh no. It's okay. It's okay. I'll see my head. Here, I'll bend down. I can't really see the smoothie I'm doing either. Um, and then some of the strawberry. Lots of strawberries in there. Not a lot of nanners. There. Mix. And then, a little trick I like to do is once I got the fruit in there, I put the liquid in first and then what I do is scoop the dry ingredients because I've made the rookie mistake before of scooping the dry ingredients like the chia seeds just about a tablespoon there and the protein powder putting it into the mixing cup first then it's at the bottom of the cup, so when you flip it around to put onto this mixer, um, it doesn't catch. So you got all this like little globs of protein powder or chia seeds just hanging out at the bottom of your smoothie that aren't blended in, so it's kind of a waste. And about a scoop of 
full scoop of banana nut protein powder on my hand. So then, shut this. I'm sure many of you have these types of blender thingy ma bobbers. They're super handy for single serve smoothies. This might be loud, but. <laughs> really huge. I think this is going to be really good. And I'll probably end up... Yes, perfect. I got that perfect consistency with the two ice cubes. I'll probably end up having a healthy little snack this afternoon. And then again, I'm going out for another birthday supper tonight. My goodness, two birthday suppers in a week. And this time I'm going with some of my greatest lady friends so I'm super excited so we made it to Moose Jaw for my birthday trip it's our little hotel room so yeah okay it's our little hotel room they got a little it's like a moose a moose antler and then we got a little TV here, and then we got little <laughs> two, two twin beds. Ryan says that uh, this is his bed, and that's my bed. I don't know about that. Maybe just for now. Maybe we could sleep together at night. We'll see. We got a little fridge. Ta-da! So one thing that um, I've noticed on this road trip today, huge mind shift for me, is that I didn't stop at a gas, we stopped at gas stations, but I had no desire to pick up chips or meat sticks or candy or whatever junk food that I usually have the huge desire to pick up. Um, I made myself hummus, homemade hummus this morning, and I cut up a giant watermelon, and then we had sweet potato fries, not fries, oh god, uh, sweet potato crackers, so huge thing of watermelon, and then this is my delicious sun-dried tomato homemade hummus. It's the first time I ever made hummus. Um, I really want to experiment with recipes and just experimenting with different spices and whatnot and like perfect a homemade hummus. So yeah, I'm really proud of myself actually. I mean, I'm on a little getaway. Obviously I'm gonna have some junk food and have some cheap meals because there's so many delicious places to eat in Moose Jaw. But I am surprised and proud of myself for not eating road junk food on the trip here today. And I feel I'm pretty good. But uh, yeah. It's a little after four right now and we just got here, so I'm probably gonna have a little a little nappy nap. And then we are gonna have some adventures. Ryan, that was your hand. Oh you're videotaping. I'm videotaping. <laughs> a little bridge adventure. Hey, a duck. A little Who's river park one? adventure. Oh there's a little ducky right down there. He's swimming, doing duck things. A little river park in Moose Jaw. It's very pretty. You're pretty. Thank you. It'll be funny.
Ready, go. That's the worst slide ever. Just swam some laps in my own private little pool. Not very big, but it did the trick to get a little cardio in on this Saturday afternoon.